Yeah, hey there, Morgan. I've only been here a couple of minutes as it is, but it seems like every time I look, more and more people are filing into the Soki Marketplace. Guys, we've got the works. We've got nonprofits, food trucks, vendors, small businesses, and everyone here is all piling together, all to stand up against sexual assault. No one better to tell us about what Take Back the Night is than our Hope Harbor Executive Director, Miss Melissa Whitley. Melissa, you said that this has been going on longer than I've been around. That's crazy. It really has, yes. This is an event we've had every year and have the same, you know, have music and but also it's changed over the years. So from an event where we would march the streets to more of a fun filled event where we can also show empowerment to folks here in the community, uh, but also while recognizing that sexual violence does occur. Well, and I love how much of Soki and really the Bowling Green community is tied into this. It's so sad that the event has had to go on this long, but really, what is the purpose of keeping it going? Yeah, well, we want people, one, to know about Hope Harbor Services. If they've been yeah. ever experienced sexual violence at any point in their lifetime, they can come to us and receive free confidential services. Uh, we have a 24-hour crisis line. We have our medical and legal advocacy that we provide here in the community. Um, you know, and so really, it's just to let people know we're here, but also to see that other Others support them in their journey in their journey and that they recognize it's an issue and they're willing to help us prevent it well it looks like we've got a whole community doing just that so guys this is the place this goes on all the way until eight tonight and we hope to see you here guys I'm Megan stamps here with Miss Melissa Whitney in downtown Bowling Green at the Soaking marketplace because local matters back to you Morgan